Good morning, my name is Amira Watt. My teacher is John Moscoso. I'm studying nursing in the School of Nursing St. Vincent of Pau. My topic is eosinophilic eosinophilic Definition. Eosinophilic eosinophilia was initially considered solely a manifestation of gastroesophageal reflux disease. However, in the mid of 1990, experienced clinicians identified esophageal eosinophilia in both adults and children who had other symptoms. This is a 41-year-old patient presenting with food impaction and dysphagia. As you can see, several mucosal abnormalities can be found. Linear furrows can be observed in the mid and distal part of the esophagus. Those furrows are typical signs of eosinophilic esophagitis. But be careful, they can also sometimes be seen in patients with reflux esophagitis. A further sign of eosinophilic abscesses, also a typical sign. In addition, longitudinal furrows are also found, as you can see here. Okay. Histologic characteristics of eosinophilic eosinophagitis. An increased number of eosinophils in the eosophageal epithelium, which is a mucose that is typically the bowl of eosinophils, is the histologic hallmark of eosinophilic eosophagitis. A cutoff value of at least 15 eosinophils per high power field is true to approach a sensitivity of 100% and a specificity of 96% for establishing the histologic diagnosis of eosinophilic. There is other video. This female patient suffers from regurgitation, heartburn, and severe cough. White light endoscopy reveals an island of heterotopic gastric mucosa at the 6 o'clock position. Virtual chromoendoscopy using FICE enables an increased demarcation of the gastric inlet patch to the surrounding esophageal squamous epithelium. Dye-based chromoendoscopy with Lugol solution stains normal esophageal epithelium brown, while heterotopic gastric mucosa is not stained, thereby enabling exact demarcation of the gastric inlet patch to the surrounding esophageal tissue. To exclude dysplasia, biopsy should be taken from the central part of the lesion and from any macroscopic suspect area. This patient is submitted to our endoscopy unit because of recurrent cough and severe dysphagia. Okay, that's it. Pharmacologic therapy. Acid suppression, the relationship between gastroesophageal reflux disease and eosinophilic eosophagitis is unclear. The diagnosis of eosinophilic eosophagitis should generally include demonstration of persistent eosophagilia eosinophilia after a two months course of return pump in EBR in vitro. This is a 45-year-old male patient referred for upper endoscopy because of progressive dysphagia. While pulling back the endoscope from the stomach, irregular and nodular mucosa with ulcerations can be seen at the cardia and in the distal esophagus.
Okay. Treatment. Identification of valinate treatment and points. Patients with eosinophilic eosophagitis may have a mismatch between symptoms and isopologic features, which creates the need for multiple assessment for disease activity. Uh, 64 as a result, the short term treatment goals include the alleviation of symptoms, control of inflammation, and restor restoration of function. There is a man with the illness. Pleasure, Claire. Welcome back, everybody. He I'm just going to talk a little bit about ethnophilic esophagitis. So, it's a rare disease, this project. So, again, it's something that I would have ignored for a long time in terms of like, talking about it and just managing the food correctly. So, obviously, I don't ignore it in my day to day because I, I can't ignore it in my day to day. But verbally, I don't, I don't, I don't talk about you know ethnophilic esophagitis. So what is it? Um, so obviously, if your throat is a lot more rigid, uh, it's going to be a lot harder for you to swallow food. So that's that's basically what it is. What will happen is if I, and it's not my air pipes, but it's like there's a massive sweet stuck in my throat. Anyone who's gotten a, an endoscopy, a camera down their throat will know all about that, that feeling of a sweet in their throat. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a little bit about what it is. And um, yeah. Okay. And what's the position? Uh